Today we're going to talk about the Bells of Steel rubber hex dumbbells while we get a quick upper body pump. Alright, so the rubber hex dumbbells from Bells of Steel are pre-created, sold in sets of 5 to 50 pounds and 55 to 80 pounds in 5 pound increment pairs. And they're also sold as individual dumbbell pairs if you don't need a full set. They are made with 50% virgin and 50% recycled rubber. They've got chrome plated handles, 28 millimeter or 34 millimeter handle diameter, depending on the weight. Um, they come in five pound increments again with a plus or minus 3% tolerance. All right, so starting off with um, upper body warm up, I went with lateral raises followed by front raises and rear delt flies, about 10 reps on each for three rounds just enough to get your shoulders warm. The handles on the lighter dumbbells are slightly skinnier, and then as you go up in weight, the handles are a little bit beefier. They're easy to hold on to either way. They've got ergonomic handles, so they taper down at the ends. Um, super comfortable to hold. All right, next I'm gonna move on to seated shoulder press with the flat incline decline bench 3.0. Um, this thing is super heavy duty, high quality. It's got seven different angle positions, a um, thousand pound capacity on weight, but it's lightweight enough and easy to move around. So on shoulder press, I like to start a little bit lighter and then move into my working weight um, on these. I don't know how many people have had <laughs> dumbbells that aren't knurled or the knurling is garbage, but it's terrifying to use those above your head. <laughs> Luckily, these are knurled really well. So <laughs> the, uh, the heavier dumbbells, I don't have to worry about falling onto my face. All right, so on this last set, I actually went down in weight. Um, I didn't hit the rep range I was trying to get before in the previous set, so dropped weight down. Don't be afraid to drop weights. I mean, you wanna hit what you wanna hit. You have goals set, don't, uh, don't get a big head. Don't be a gym bro about it. Drop the weight, do what you need to do, keep your form correct, and uh, get those gains. to dumbbell rows. This is another exercise that a good dumbbell will just make or break. If you have a bad, poorly knurled or, you know, hard to grip handle of a dumbbell, it's just gonna be miserable. So um, that ergo handle is, again, awesome. It's, it's much more comfortable to me than a straight handle, but the knurling is perfect. It's not gonna tear your hands apart, but um, that dumbbell is not going anywhere. If you're looking to grow your back and get those lats where you can just fly away, then heavy dumbbell rows are an excellent option. Um, they're super popular for a reason. They're great exercise, um, perfect for growing your back.
We all know that without a nice rack, the dumbbells are just going to be a cluttered mess all over your gym floor. Um, we are using the residential dumbbell rack from Bells of Steel. Uh, this thing will hold up to 800 pounds of dumbbells, so it's, it's perfect for your home gym. All right, gonna switch around the bench for pullovers. This is another great exercise for your lats. Um, the rubber hex dumbbells are great for these as well. The dumbbell head is extremely easy to hold on to. It's grippy. Sometimes a larger surface makes these a little bit more challenging because it gets in the way, but these are well balanced and they fit great in your hands. Since switching over into more of a bikini competitor style of training, um, I don't really train chest anymore. So these uh, floor presses are a great way to, you know, activate the chest a little bit, but really be able to hit my triceps a little bit more. I still enjoy bench pressing and um, pressing movements, but um, I also like to keep focused on my main goals. So this is a nice in between. Something worth mentioning, uh, these dumbbells are used heavily every day in a commercial setting and these things are still holding up great. Um, you know, they're gonna be perfect for your home gym. If they can withstand a commercial gym, literally daily use, then you are gonna have zero problems at home. All right, so a little hack on lateral raises on these. Make sure you keep a slight bend in your elbow and use your delts, not your traps. All right, I'm about to wrap up this workout. Do me a giant favor, let me know what your favorite dumbbell exercises are in the comments below. Um, maybe we can hit them up, tag you in the video next time, give you a shout out, but uh, we wanna know. We like to see what you guys come up with and get creative.
that's it for today's dumbbell workout. See you guys next time. Hey folks, Gabe on here, founder of Bells of Steel. I hope you loved that video. Be sure to click on the link in the description if you want to get those products for your own home gym. Don't forget to smash that like and subscribe button and let the games begin.